Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's case is about a lady called Julie Pacey and the case that we're doing today is a cold case. Julie Pacey was a 38 year old lady from Lincolnshire and she was attacked in her house by a stranger and also murdered not much as I, I couldn't find m many details about this case but I have I've gathered what I could to put a video together and for you guys to see and hopefully get some answers um I've decided not to do the makeup video I think the videos can be a lot quicker when I'm not doing my makeup in them and you know not a lot of people don't have enough time to you know spend like 10 15 minutes watching a video so i'm going to try and keep my videos as short as possible for you guys um so i can still get the word out there but keep it short and sweet basically but yeah that's today's case it's the case of julie pacey this is the cold case of julie pacey Julie Pacey was a 38-year-old woman who lived with her husband Andrew and their two children, 11-year-old son Matthew and 14-year-old daughter Helen. On the 23rd of September 1994, one of the neighbour's children was on her way back to school and went to approach Julie's house. She would do this often when her parents would go and pick her up on the way back from work. On this day, she said she saw a man she didn't recognise entering Julie's driveway. When the girl was walking on the driveway, the man was exiting. Her description of the man was about 35 years old, with a chubby round face. He had blue dungarees on and brown boots. When the girl entered the house, Julie went on to say that a strange man had just come into the house to ask for directions. Julie had let the man in because she thought it was the little girl. She heard the knock on the door and just told them to come in. Why did the man choose to go to Julie's house? Why wouldn't he just ask someone passing by for directions? I find that a bit odd. On Monday the 26th of September, Julie went to work at a nearby nursery. She came home at around 2.45pm. A witness said that she saw the man in blue overalls on Highcliff Road. They said he walked out into the road and Julie's grey Audi almost hit him. The car then stopped and the man kept walking. The witness said that the man started running back down the road after what looked like Julie's car. Julie drove a grey Audi 80, which was the family car though a few witnesses have said that she'd been spotted in a blue BMW 5 Series. Someone that knew Julie recalled seeing a blue BMW on the day that she was murdered. The same car was also seen speeding away from Julie's estate a few times. At 4.20pm, Julie's daughter Helen came home from school. As she entered the house, she called out to her mum, when she didn't get an answer, Helen went to look for Julie upstairs. Helen found her mother's body on the bathroom floor. Julie had been strangled using an electrical cable and sexually assaulted. Police could find no sign of false entry. Julie either left the door unlocked or let the killer in. Nothing was out of place, so the police didn't think it was a burglary, though there was a Luc de Roches watch that Julie wore that was missing. Julie's husband, Andrew, had an alibi, so he was ruled out of the case. Julie's case was shown on Crime Watch in hope that someone knew the man in the blue overalls or who owned the BMW. They received thousands of calls but unfortunately had no solid leads. In 2015, Julie's case was again showed on Crime Watch, 
urging people to come forward 21 years after the murder. A lot of things had changed since 1994. DNA technology had advanced. Police said they had a nearly complete DNA profile that was left by the killer. They still had no idea on the motive for the murder. People called up with information that could be to do with the crime, but there was still no conviction. The man in the blue overalls had been seen in the local area for days around Grantham and Julie's estate. He was described as chubby with a red face and asking for directions numerous occasions. He was seen entering a shop and acting suspicious. No vehicle was seen with the man. The actor that was in the crime watch reconstruction was also reported as a possible suspect. There was building work going on around the same time as Julie's murder, along Longcliffe Road. Police thought that maybe the man was working there, but nothing came of it. As of 2022, Julie's murder remains unsolved, and I can't imagine how awful that must be for the family to not have any closure. If you have any information regarding Julie Pacey's murder, please contact Lincolnshire Police on their incident room number 01522 532 That's 01522 532 And that is today's case done. Again, another one that has gone cold. Their families, their families must be feeling absolutely horrible with no closure, no answers. This is why I do this. We need to help these people. It's such, I can't imagine. I honestly cannot imagine what they are going through. Um, but yeah. We need to like spread awareness and spread these stories so more people know about it because there's got to be someone that knows something about it. But yeah, so let's try and spread awareness of this case and get some answers for the families involved. That's it for this week, guys. I shall see you on Wednesday. Goodbye.